let's imagine that my company makes gates and we have two different types of gates we make a swing gate and a lift gate and depending on the choice of the gate they can have different materials and then depending on the different materials they can have different widths and height so what i've done is i set up a data card inside my solar enterprise pdm to reflect this information i've created edit boxes and attached each edit box to a variable then down here at the very bottom, just to show that I can make smart part numbers, I have created an input formula using the different variables from above. So the way to, to set this up is I create a, a button, and on this button I connect it to the particular coop number. I'll show you what that means here in a second. Let's go to my pigeonhole add-in. I right mouse click and choose to build the coops. Now that I've done this, First thing that I do is I want to ensure that I match my coop number to the number that I've created to my button. And then optionally here, I can put a comment so I remember what this particular coop is for. Across the top, I will choose the proper variables. So again, I go type material width and height. And now all I need to do is rebuild my grid here inside of, of Pigeonhole. So let's go ahead and add a group here, and we'll try calling this one swing, and another group called lift. Now, I highlight what I want to work with, so in the case of swing, and I'll add a row called brass and aluminum. Highlighting brass, I know that I have two different widths, so let's do 8 and 12. And aluminum, I have 8 and 16. So my brass width is 8. Over here we'll do 4. And the 12 is 4 and 5. Aluminum, the 8 is 4 and 6 and the 16 instead of typing all those over again I'll show you another little trick I can highlight all of those copy them to the clipboard and use the bulk add tool which gives me the ability to paste information from the outside world into pigeonhole very quickly now just a couple left let's do a lift I have wood and I also have aluminum. The aluminum only has one width, so let's go ahead and add 16. And let's go to the wood, and we will add our bulk add. Like so. Once this is complete, now I can click OK. I will store that information into my system. Now, let's go to my card. I'll highlight my card, and as a user, I click the build gate, which will connect. Now, pigeonhole remembers how many holes that we have. So you see I have a choice here between my lift. So this over so you can see a little bit. My lift has two different materials versus if I chose my swing. You see I have two other materials. And you see the pigeonhole is dropping down and changing depending on what selections that I've had. It's a very quick little filter to build these up. Clicking OK will populate my data card as so, and then just to show you that I can have a smart part number built from there optionally if I so choose.